All right, how you doing? I couldn't do the, the footage that I wanted to do because it was at the VA and they got the road blocked off. So I had to make a, I have to go another uh, direction here. But what I want to do is I want to do a video on the uh, Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel here. It goes about six miles. The tunnel is a little over a mile here and they had one section that was built in 19... I think it was built in 1957 and the other section was built in 1960. So we're gonna check that out right now. We're gonna ride across it, okay? We're gonna ride across it right now. Uh, this is Interstate 64 and this is this rides through uh, Norfolk. Norfolk and Suffolk is the terminal end of 64. St. Louis is the west terminal end, and that's an inspection station here. And that's where I wanted to go off to the right here. Um, <coughs> Earlier I did a video of Fort Monroe. If you look uh, ahead there, or yonder about two miles is Fort Monroe. And again, we're going across the bridge here. Uh, to the right is they're doing construction here. Uh, this is the expansion. They're going to expand it after all these years. There have been people complaining about it for like 30 years because uh, this stretch right here that goes from Hampton to Norfolk is like one of the worst stretches of traffic in the state of Virginia. And a lot what it is during the summertime, a lot of people like to come out to Virginia Beach. So you can see people there, the cranes out here dredging that dirt. And you can look at the video on how they put the tunnels in. Like they bring the tunnels, I believe, from, from Denmark. And once they have the uh, bottom part, uh, the corridor uh, dred, uh, dredged out, then they lay the tunnels down, uh, fuse them together, okay? Build uh, the roads and all that stuff and the insides uh, along with the bridge. It takes some time. It's supposed to be ready in 2025, this expansion. So here we're gonna go into it right now. We just, uh, Enter to Island and we're going inside the tunnel now. Now this is, I believe, the uh, East Tunnel here, okay? Or they call the Outer Tunnel. And the reason why they do this is because they have huge carriers and stuff that has to go across the, uh, the channel and go uh, either up to Chesapeake Bay or back down, down it to either leave uh, this area or go to the Norfolk Naval Base, okay? You know, it used to be a time where you couldn't listen to your radio when you come down here. And now I think they fixed it where you can listen to, uh, you can listen to the radio. Now they have another tunnel down in Hampton Newport News. If you look at my uh, shipyard slash marine terminal, you can see that uh, they call it Monitor Mer uh, Merrimack uh, Tunnel. That's in the C 664. That goes from uh, Newport News to Suffolk, <laughs> and people will go there as an alternate. Let's say if this road is uh, heavily congested or blocked. Okay. So you see how this tunnel it dips down to the bottom of the water and then it comes back up. I think it dips, dips down about 80 feet, something like that. And it goes up an uh, angle, you see, like so. Okay. Again, it's about six miles and uh, also what they're gonna do is they're gonna build uh, it's supposed to be two more lanes on this side on both sides okay so like this uh, sorry about that let me adjust this camera here so the shoulder here on the right side is supposed to be knocked down and it's supposed to be expanding uh, the road here okay So this is two lanes, this is gonna expand to four lanes. 
and they're gonna do this for quite a, a few miles down this road here until it gets uh, to uh, uh, Interstate 564, which takes you to the Norfolk Naval Base. In fact, you'll see it right here, the Norfolk Naval Base here to the right side here, and all the carriers there. They're supposed to have 13 carriers, but, I, but it's my understanding they lost two of them to go to the growing base down in Jacksonville, Florida. Okay? Man, they've been talking about doing this role for like 30, 30 or 35 years. Now, we're gonna get off the interstate here because this, this was the old exit at one time. It was Highway 60. Uh, it's still Highway 60, but now it's ingratiated with Highway 64, okay? Uh, there's Willoughby Spit right ahead. Okay, but again, we're gonna turn off Hey, let me see here. Like on the Norfolk side here. Oh man. I can't even go down here. I'm sorry about that. Uh, over here in this area, they used to have, I forgot what the park was called. Uh, I believe it was like Willoughby Park, okay? It used to be like a park that they had out the beach, like a beach park. They had Buck Row Park, and they had uh, Willoughby uh, Park. And they used to have like a little roller coaster, uh, rickety roller coaster that they built. And it was like almost 100 years old before they tore it down. It was like the early 80s. They had miniature golf, those, you know, uh, kitty rides and stuff like that. And they tore it down when they built Bush Gardens here. I think it was like in the late 70s, 70s in Williamsburg. And they ended up taking over. But I can remember as a kid, we used to go there to both of those parks and so forth. I mean, that was a glory, that was a glorious time. Okay, so we're just going around the old 60. And as you can see right above me is the 64. And this is what they call uh, Willoughby Spit. In Ocean View. Actually, I'm sorry, it's called Ocean View Park. So we're going down Ocean View uh, Drive here. And they'll have a bunch of houses and stuff like that uh, of the beach. Uh, a couple of restaurants and, you know, some hotels and that type of uh, stuff, apartments. Again, this was, this is the old 60 right here that you had to go when they just had one tunnel. I can remember it was built, the second tunnel was built in 1963. I do believe I remember going down 64 when it was a two, when it was uh, two lanes or basically when there was one tunnel, okay? The second tunnel was built in 1973 to make it a full interstate. So I'm just gonna swing around here and, uh, and we're gonna leave here. We're gonna leave this area. I wanna do a video on the Norfolk Naval Base, but I'm gonna have to say that for a different time, okay? I'll be right back. All right, so the final segment of this, or the final clip of this segment is basically where you have the old 60 ends right here. And the 64 was, I guess, built on top of that, was upgraded at one time, what, in the early 70s. We're gonna jump right back on the interstate. You can kind of tell remnants of it. You can see right here when you come on the road like this. And that's the little, the rest of this little road. Here, let me just rotate the camera just a little bit. Man, the traffic is getting thick, man. This this road is real bad around like 4.30 when they get out of the, uh, the Navy gets off duty. And especially like on Fridays, you can see a big old ship over there. You see it's got a cross underneath the, uh, you know, where the tunnel is on top of it. 
All right, that looks like a big cargo ship there, okay? Now we're going to, this is the new, the newer section that was built in 1973. And they've done some work, extensive work over here. They built a longer shoulder. So I guess when cars, uh, if they break down or catch a flat or whatever, they can pull over right, you know, right on the side of the road without, you know, uh, obstructing traffic. And actually, we're stuck in traffic, though. I don't know what this is all about. At 2.30? Okay. I do know there's some construction going on here. Uh, off on the right, you see your far right, if you guys can see that good, you have what they call buck roll. And I'm just not gonna have enough time to do buck roll because that was the park uh, where you, the park used to be, used to have a pier where me and dad used to go fishing and all that. And uh, you know, that had, that's, that's its own little town over there, okay? I mean, it's part of Hampton, but it's own, uh, its own uh, little uh, town, and they, you know, have uh, little beach houses over there and stuff like that, uh, high-rise apartments, semi-high-rise stuff, okay? So this is the new island right here. Oh, just just so you'll know, Fort Wool is right here to the right. There, you see that uh, that uh, observatory. Okay, it's like a bunker and observatory. Looks like they, it was well. It's been well kept. So this is the new or the newer that is uh, tunnel here. You know, it's the same old thing. They also have another tunnel at the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel. Now, it was built, it was US 13, it was built, uh, I think around 1964. It was a two lane road with a two lane tunnel. And right around 2003, then they expanded the, the road to like four lanes, but it was still a two lane tunnel. Now, as we speak, they're doing the tunnels now. It's gonna take some time, I think. They say 2025, with the growth here in Hampton, Norfolk, they want to do the uh, the second tunnel over there. Okay. I don't want to. I don't mean this video to be too long, but uh, I just want you know want to entertain you guys. Uh, just showing you some of the stuff that they have to offer out here. You know, we're not able to get any football teams, basketball, or anything like that here in the state of Virginia. Although they tried to get the Clippers and they tried to get, I believe, the owner of the Hornets at the time, his name was George Chin, uh, back in the day, tried to get a basketball team in Virginia and they shot it down because the state of uh, this is a Commonwealth state here in Virginia and they don't want to raise taxes to build a stadium. So they tried to do that. They tried to get us. Uh, a football team for the Redskins. I mean, I'm sorry, a uh, stadium. That stadium is going to land over Maryland. Uh, they wanted to get hockey with basket with the basketball team with Virginia Beach, but the hockey team ended up in uh, in Raleigh, North Carolina. So unless business owners are going to pay for everything themselves, then the the state here is not going to raise taxes to build uh, that type of stuff. And that's pretty much it for this video. We're going back over to Hampton. You can see Fort Monroe to the right there. But if you like this video, feel free to subscribe, share, leave your comments, and check out some of the other videos. And I'll be back in Las Vegas very soon here in the next couple of days to get back to doing footage out there.